Well, welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, uh, we have a parallelogram. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram and we need to find the value of X and the measure of angles B, C, D. And, um, first of all, let's take a look to these two angles. Angle B and I'm not going to call this angle A. I'm going to call it angle B, A, C. B, A, D. Uh, these two angles are supplementary because they are consecutive angles in a parallelogram. And this is the definition of a par parallelogram. And one property is that the consecutive angles are supplementary. So that's my statement here. The measure of angle B plus the measure of angle B, A, D equals 180. And uh, angle B is 128 degrees plus the measure of angles BAD, the one we need to find out, equals 180. So we have to subtract 128 on both sides and we end up with the measure of angles BAD is 52 degrees. And if you take a look, BAD and angle that we need to find out, BCD, are congruent. They are opposite angles. So let me write that here, opposite angle in a parallelogram. Angle BAD congruent with uh, angle BCD. Okay. Uh, Opposite angle in a parallelogram. Okay, so this is true for a parallelogram. Uh, so the measure of angle BAD is equal to the measure of angle BCD. And the BAD, remember, is uh, 52 de degree, we find out. So basically, we finish the last part of the problem. BCD is 52 degrees. Now we can look for the first part of the problem where we need to find the value of X. Okay. And uh, now let's take a look to these angles BAD, these angles we have here. This is 52 degrees. And a part of it, it's 32 degree. So how much is going to be the other part? That will be 52 minus 32. That will be simply 20 degrees, right? 20 plus 32 will be 52. But let me write that statement here. The measure of angle BAD, the big angle, right? is equal to the sum of those small two, two small angles, BAC plus CAD. This is the protractor postulate. And like I said, BAD is the one we found out, 52, BAC, is the one we need to find out and CAD is given to us is 32 degree so the last thing we need to do, subtract 32 and we get the measure of angles BAC it's 20 degrees so this is the justification we need to prove that angle BAC is 20 degree but now this angle that is 20 degrees is congruent with this angle. They are alternate interior angle. Remember, this is a parallelogram. So these two segments, these two lines are parallel lines. So I'm going to write this statement here also. I'm going to say AB parallel with DC. So that means angle BAC It's congruent with angle uh, 
DCA, which means the measure of these two angles is the same. which means 20 degrees. Okay, so let me justify the answer here. Alternate interior angles. And now if we know this angle is 20 degrees and this angle here will be 90 degrees because it's supplementary of the other one, we can use the triangle DEC. And if you remember, the sum of the interior angles of any triangle, so for DAC it's also true, is nothing else than 180. So the measure of angle uh, EDC plus the measure of angles DCE plus the measure of angle C E D is 180. And in this triangle, E D C is that X we need to find out. D C E is 20 degrees. And C D is that right angle. So we have to combine 20 and 90, that is 110. So x will be 180 minus 110, and that will be 70 degrees. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.